Rotational chair testing is considered the gold standard for diagnosing bilateral vestibular disorders. The process can help differentiate central nervous system disorders from peripheral or inner ear disorders and can be used when other testing methods are ineffective due to blockages of ear wax, holes in the eardrum, or certain ear surgeries. Research has also shown that rotational chair testing is much more sensitive at identifying inner ear vestibular disorders than traditional forms of testing. During rotational testing, the chair will slowly move in a back and forth motion while in a darkened room that is controlled by the computer and audiologist. The speed at which the patient is rotated is varied to test the entire range and capabilities of your vestibular system. The audiologist will be able to see if there is a vestibular disorder and how much the brain has already compensated for the problem. Testing in a darkened room allows a more accurate measure of central nervous system function by measuring the patient's ability to visually track moving objects. Another series of tests performed while seated in the rotational chair involves visually tracking or following a small point of light as it moves on the wall. During the optokinetic or visual tracking portions of testing, the patient will be asked to follow a series of star field projections on the walls of the rotational chair room to evaluate how well the eyes and brain are working together. The second optokinetic test has the patient fixate or lock onto a light that is moving on the wall along with the chair. This also helps identify between central nervous system and vestibular disorders. The third part in this testing series is called fixation testing. The patient, while being rotated in the chair, will be asked to stare at a dot of light that will be rotating with them on the wall. The patient's ability to concentrate on the dot while moving in the chair can help indicate if they have a vestibular or a central nervous system disorder.